Welcome back, gamers. Hope you uh, hope you all enjoyed your break. Did what you uh, did what you needed to do, things like that. But we are back. We are ready. We are excited, nerdy. Our second half of the quarterfinal matches today. Loki versus Danny. You said Danny earlier, but your Manji prediction was unfortunately wrong. You still confident in the Danny pick? I know you're gonna say yes, but I just want to. I have to stick to it. I have to stick to it. I can't. I can't back down. I can't let negative feedback affect my predictions. I have to stick with Danny. Yeah. And we're going to say three to two, Danny. Okay. Five game series. I like it, Nerdy. Let's, uh, let's throw another player card, see these players' stats against each other. Nerdy, another, another four to five. It's actually crazy odds that all, all these runners have played each other nine times, but sub-11 ranked average 67% win rate and season two playoffs winner. Wow. Loki has a good resume for sure. I mean, and 900 games. 100%. But I, hey, I will say, I will say, well, you say that, that, that all, none of that is false. None of what you said is false, but four to five record. He's negative against Danny this season. That is true. Let's throw it over to Danny's stats and see um, win percentage, ranked average, things like that. Minutes slower on the average, 10% down on the win rate. And I have some updated season five initial stats, Nerdy, and they don't look better for Danny. Low-key, currently rank, rank one by 80 ELO. 72% win rate with a 1051 average. Danny's got a 51% win rate with an 1148 average. So, minute slower on the average and a much worse win rate. I mean, Loki, one of our best ranked players, one of the most consistent. But Danny's here for a reason. Won his uh, round of 16 match. Has a higher w- or uh, a better win loss against Loki. Then, uh, then Loki does against him. He's positive on that matchup. It's very possible that Danny clutches up. And you believe in Danny. I believe in Danny. But Loki is one hell of an opponent, nerdy. So uh, that is undeniable. That is undeniable. <laughs> it could easily go either way. I think we throw it over to the seed selection. See what the pick bands are like, nerdy. Wow. Very different. And I think we saw this being different in Danny's round of 16 match last weekend. But looking at these nerdy, let me know your thoughts. What sticks out here? Obviously, very different than what we usually see. What do you think? Yeah, it's interesting. Danny choosing to ban Desert Temple, which obviously is um, different than the previous seeds. I personally like it from a viewing perspective because... Not that Desert Temples are boring, but I really like getting some variety. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of Desert Temples today, so I feel like, you know, it gives us the opportunity to, um, you know, get some, some new stuff in there, get some buried treasures and, and whatnot. Uh, of course, we also have the Rune Portal ban from Loki, which, you know, I think makes sense. I mean, I can definitely understand the... There's a little inconsistency with those rune portals. I, like I say all the time, I do love watching those because at the end of the day, I feel like rune portals do have the... are, like, the ultimately the fastest um, when it comes to... Well, not the fastest, but, you know, they're they're very fast. But no, I guess they are just the fastest because they're the fastest enter you can possibly have. Uh, but, yeah, overall, I feel like... These 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 picks do make sense, and Feinberg's back just in Beautiful. time. I agree with everything you said. Without oh, knowing yes. what you said, but well, yeah, yeah. Nerdy, you always have uh, you always have good takes on the seed suggestions. So oh, thanks, man. I mean, I'm excited to see BT, uh, and we don't get our our standard desert temple. But we could. They are only banned until seed four. So, Nerdy, if you think this is going to go to a game five, you think it's going to go the distance, it's very possible that we see the bands potentially picked or a seed type doubled up or even two. 
but we will have to wait and see. We have at least three seeds to get through before we get to that point, Nerdy. So we will get into the match here in just a second whenever the players and the lobby is ready. We will get right into it. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. There we are. Yep. I think I was uh, I was looking at the back end. I think this is a little scuffed. I think um the ref for this seed doesn't um have like the auto spectator thing, so they were just trying to figure that out in the background. Um but it doesn't actually change anything. <laughs> the ref just has to insta forfeit instead of it being automatic, but everything's the same. Another Desert Village journey. Three Desert Village seeds in the villages that we played today, and they were, I think, literally all... Um, I feel like they were all Plains Villages um, yesterday. But there was a Plains Village today, too. Maybe I just... Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. This maybe is, I just this love... Is, this is beautiful. Maybe I, I just I, I, love I, AA so much. Jungle Temples are hype. I wonder if they're gonna... Yeah. This is actually interesting that it is right here. I mean... What is it? It's six iron? Like, I don't honestly think it's genuinely wrong to go. I feel like it is. The... I feel like it's good. Oh, wait. To, to, like, check it if Loki's right here? Come on, you're mining the cobble there. Like, might as well go Come in on. that, man. Come on. Oh. Like, it could, just, no, it could just be a time loss, right? Like, it could just be a time loss, but I don't know. Oh, but with the curiosity. The curiosity has got to be know. worth something. You know he's what I mean? Right, like, he's what? right there. I know, I know. It's brutal. What if, like, the version changes and you get the wild? You know what I mean? You get the wild armor trim. The I mean, armor that trim? Would be, yeah, I mean, that would be obviously worth it. You know? I don't even need that one for the uh, advancement. Oh, do you really not? <laughs> no, it's that's, kind that's of funny. silly. And you need just one out of the four randomly from the trail rune, which is annoying. But this is not AA, and it is not 120. We are wrong on both accounts, but Danny ahead on this seat, it looks like. I mean, he's got this lava pool right next to him here. Loki does see it, but, I mean, very close stuff in this overworld here. Loki's not going to be behind by that much, but it's significant. You know, we've seen overworlds be, you know, with, within the second today. And this is, this is a good, um, maybe 10 to 15 seconds of separation here. And you're on the treasure with, I think, a visible fort. So. <laughs> wow. This time loss definitely does matter as the, you know, there's no split getting to this treasure. Like there's no terrain split and if you're purling to the fort and it's all this open terrain here potentially no terrain split there as well so danny could carry this overworld lead for basically free all the way to the fort if he makes the right decisions easy treasure route there executed with danny loki heading up the stairs right now as well takes one Put hit only face. Looks like he's okay. Very good though, yeah. Taking, um, you know, one, maybe two hits in the treasure, pretty standard. Pretty hard to do it completely damage list, but being able to get through that with only taking one hit from the sword pigs, very good stuff. Both these runners just cranking out the standard treasure route here, grabbing the gold, checking for the backups. And again, I don't know, Nerdy, if they saw the fort. I don't know if you saw the fort. It's just, it's sometimes so hard with this, like, nether fog to actually know. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. If there's, um, if there's the fort, obviously we have the screen smaller, quality not as good as the runners are seeing. And it is a treasure, though, so you can't pyre. So you just kind of have to find it. And uh, yeah, is it only five obby from these chests? Very interesting, potentially. Yeah, if we're gonna get 20, definitely not optimal, but maybe we'll see some decisions as to whether they stick to going for 20 or not. I always, yeah, I mean, that it looks like Danny here is committing to it. Well, he's committing to at least, um, 
break the spawner. You can play home portal here. Oh, it is true. It is just <laughs> on the treasure, but I think he doesn't see the fort and he's committing to at least breaking the spawner here. But I think if you go down here, I don't know. You have 12 obby. You have to I feel trade like you so might as well, much. right? I mean, yeah, but you have to trade. You have to trade so much. You know what I mean? Loki finds the um the fort though. So it looks like Loki is just out. Okay, so very different strategies here. He's playing home portal. Danny is mining these gold blocks too, so he is committing to this twenty obsidian. This could be very different, nerdy. I feel like, like I like Loki's play more. I don't know. It intuitively seems like it's going to be slow for danny to do all this but i could be wrong i think i like loki's play because he's just so far ahead yeah like it's not like oh you have to check maybe two or three extra chests for 20 like danny is now trading all this extra gold and he's gonna get it quick but like the fact that you need to trade for eight extra obby is just so much and Loki's, you yeah, know, so not he, getting the luckiest get on the sport. You know? Yeah, he would. He, he definitely will get it. Um, I mean, obviously, nothing's guaranteed. Guaranteed, but it'd be pretty unlucky. <laughs> but I, I'm just I, the point is, it's just uh, there's so much. I guess I'm, the more likely case is that he might have to wait here for a little bit. But it looks like he's at 19, so that's a good sign. Yeah, I mean, really and deep. you have two stacks of string, so I don't. I think he's really only waiting for Obby. And yeah, he saw the Ford too. Okay, so he didn't even pirate really. So it was just it was just this twenty obby play and low key. Oh, well, any clutch with a pearl? Wait. Wow. I did, I don't know how he survived that. I think that might have been like a. He just had a weird... pearl clutch into the wall. I feel like there. he didn't take fall damage. I, I feel like he didn't take fall damage. I feel like it got like kind of overlap with the pearl. Yeah, I think that's damage. what happened. I think he had like Wind the invulnerability down. or something. Good four strays here for Danny, though. And, I mean, Loki's still on one rod. I think these rates are just bad. Because Loki's been thugging it out in this fort for a while. But Danny's got 20. It is just a bit weird, though, because this fort is very buried, nerdy. So if, like, your first portal isn't in an amazing spot, it might not even be um, good that Danny has 20. Like, it might even be better, faster that... um. Loki's doing home portal, right? If that pearling puts you right there, the terrain's open. Unclear. But, there I mean, go. very, very... Um, Two rods. Three, yeah. I guess. Just not great rates. No, these rates are not good at all. Wow, these are brutal. So it's good that, um, it's good that Loki's committed to the spawner, at least, because you're going to get the most consistent blazes out of the spawner and danny's got to find um a spawner of his own to commit to here and he does different spawner i think and again it's just very interesting um he's gonna do all these hoglins but it's very interesting to see if these players are going to potentially get different strongholds or not i don't know why danny left his spawner i think maybe because of these hoglins trying to find the other one but it is just time loss. I'm going to kill the Hoglin for food, though, but you don't really need it with the bread. Which is very, very unclear who's in the lead right now. Like, low-key yeah. just on raw materials. Like, he's four rods up, but... Home portal versus 20, and this is some pretty open terrain for Danny. It looked bad heading into the fort, but it's very, very open right now. So we'll see. Unclear situation until we get to the strongholds. Now, one more rod. There it is. And see, Loki's just right here, though. You know, I just feel like that wasn't that much time loss. Yeah, and um, and this to, uh, to this portal world. is this portal surface as well. You know, it is um true. Good point. Excellent. It point. is not yeah. magma ravine. It is just surface. Um, now, Danny could be really close is the advantage. Um, that's definitely the advantage. And also, I will say... Loki, you know, pause, neg. Rod, but... Danny's same oh, stronghold, but look, he's, anyway. he's got to... Danny's got to throw a second eye here. 
And he has to, he's picking up the one eye that he threw. Maybe one of them broke or something. But this is, this is going to be 500 blocks for Danny. Loki's going back towards the fort, but I think Danny's just so far behind on rod count. Look at this. He has zero rods. Already. He has nothing. Wow. He, he had one rod to measure and they're all gone. The, the eyes are gone. He needs six more rods and Loki's digging on cords. Wow. Just comes down to Danny, I think, not needing to play for the 20 when you have 12 Abby waiting yeah. so... Um, waiting so long for that 20, I think, just messed him up. And it's Loki's game to lose fully. I mean, not a fast seed by any means, but mainly do those blaze rates, I think. You know, nothing that these runners could have potentially done better. Did spawn on the Bastion. And yep. Loki looking for the spike. Might have heard the server spawner. There it is. There it is. I don't think he heard that. Nice. I think, uh, just like that direction. He's got zero prepped. He's got ground zero prepped. Unfortunately, Danny's 20 obby play was just not worth it. There we go. Loki, Loki pushing 99 up. here. And he gets there. Has the bow for the double beds as well. But Danny, multiple splits behind. Oh, it doesn't get it off that double bed, but gets it there. And that's a low-key taking a one nothing lead in this best of five, Nerdy. Pretty good w. stuff from Loki. I mean, a lot of this he comes Very down to that 10 versus 20 decision. And I don't really think Danny did that much wrong either. Other than this one decision, I mean, the, the play looked on point. It looked there, but it looked on point for Loki as well. So... Comes down to that. I mean, treasure bastion rally decision, and low key makes the better call, takes yeah. the win on C1. It was very well played to, to low key. I mean, I think he just, like you said, made the better call and just played consistently. And I, I don't know, the, you know, there's a reason why he won, you know, season two playoffs. And I feel like this consistency that we saw from him right here was just exactly that. Like, he's a very consistent player, very, um, you know, he's very fast as well, of course. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, he, I think he, he showed up there. And we'll have to see if, if Danny can pull it back. You know, at the end of the day, I will say my prediction was 3-2 to Danny. So technically, we're still very well within the possibility of my cr prediction being correct, okay? But, that prediction uh, is still alive, yes. But but that was uh, slightly concerning as, as someone who predicted Danny to win. It's okay. He's got two seeds to lose, Nerdy. That was just one of them. And it really was just, look at this Ender Fortress split. Two minutes on getting 20 obby, I just don't think is worth it. I don't know if Danny underestimated how long it was going to take or just really wanted to play for 20. Maybe thought Loki was going to do the same thing. Uh, but I just don't think it's worth two minutes in any scenario. Even if this is a, like, Magma Ravine buried first portal or like buried buried home portal i just uh yeah i don't know that's all it really comes down to but other than that like danny keeping it close i mean on the rest of the seed obviously we don't get to see um what danny splits would have looked like finishing the seed out but um yeah just uh one mistake he's got to clean up one decision and could see a very much closer seeds coming up in the future Next. Oh, they're, sa they're saving the BT nerdy for seed three. But we're getting a BT. So we have to look on the bright side. We are getting a buried treasure seed. That is some exciting stuff. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm excited for the shipwreck. I'm excited for the BT. Personally, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to think. Will, will this impact the match very much? I feel like shipwrecks are, are usually... Well, I will say, they they usually are, like, the most neutral of all of the a bunch. But sometimes, like we've seen before in matches where someone just doesn't 
find it or they just don't see it or maybe yeah, there's you, like a ruined portal like, in the ocean that the, the, the magma ravine yeah. or something exactly yeah i think that's the the scariest part of these overworlds perhaps is you just don't find um a magma ravine sometimes and that could do it i do love it when there is alternative structures that runners can choose or not to, you know what i mean um like yeah, like uh, the, like extra stuff on the side, uh -huh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, we'll just have to wait and see in this overworld if they're able to um, bring it together, find the ravine, or if there's going to be some big separation in these overworld plays. But we're going to get to see that, Nerdy. The runners are ready. We're going to get into our room in just a second. There we go. Where is the shipwreck? Danny sees it. Not sure if Loki has spotted it yet, but an already interesting decision. I mean, Loki's swimming out here as well. Danny's swimming out, but Loki's got two logs front loaded, so it's possible for him to commit to the wood in the shipwreck with a wood pressure plate play. Danny cannot commit eight to the iron. one in the shipwreck. I hate eight iron on shipwrecks. It's just like you always have to. It's just you have to make some weird decisions. I guess you just go back, but it's just slow. It's, uh, it's, it's never a good feeling. I feel like. Yeah, it's just uh, shipwrecks are just frustrating like this sometimes. They just take a lot of time and are an annoying seed type. You know, like you could be in the Nether by now, but. Or like heading to your enter, but you have eight iron, you have to get stone axe, you have no shears, you have no blocks, you have four bread, and that's it. Like Yeah. It's just not ideal at all. But both the runners dealing with it, so Loki just a little bit ahead here, not by much, but just a few seconds or so. But very yeah. similar routing decisions overall. We'll have to see. I mean, last, like we said, last seed, last seed was a very notable difference in their routing decisions in the nether. So maybe that will happen again. Um, but so yeah. far, this is like they're playing the seed pretty much identically with Loki just a few seconds ahead of Danny here. And it's more so can they find the enter? Looks like slightly different ravines, but going to be the same, uh, same result here. I mean, Danny's ravine doesn't look fake. Loki's doesn't look fake either. Um, and both runners getting the nether at around the same time, but Loki's going to be, you know, just maybe seven seconds ahead here. Pretty quick Bastion spike. Looks like some pretty obvious terrain that both runners can take here. And it looks like it is a treasure bastion again. So lots of treasures today. Don't think either runner has seen the fort. So not sure if we're going to see a lower treasure play again from Danny, lower treasure play from Loki, or you just sort of send a direction. Maybe you can see the fort from the top here. I'm not sure. You will see, though. Classic treasure route from both these runners. Pretty standard stuff. Nothing to complain about, nothing to look at. Danny getting a wood block in his way a little bit, but handling that perfectly, taking no damage. Very well done. Because the damage of this seed actually will matter. 15 rotten flesh, 4 bread only. If we have to throw a lot of pearls, you're going to want that bread for those pearls. And if you run out of bread, you're going to be having a bad time. So... Yeah, Some well I mean, played stuff. Yeah, and I will say they have they have played this treasure pretty well so far. You know, haven't taken too much damage. Um, yep. But you know, the I will say one thing that also sucks is not being able to throw as many pearls and things like that. So uh, the low, the lower the food, the worse, in my opinion, for yeah, uh, for speed running. That, that's just, that's my take, Farmer. What do you what do you think? I think that's uh, I don't really know if I'd call that a take. I just more call it a fact. 
uh, is that having having less food is bad, Nerdy. That was um, that is uh, in fact true. Same. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. But Danny, a little bit ahead on the food situation, but really not by much. Very similar for both these runners. And it just requires potentially some slower gameplay. Danny looking for breaking lower treasure. I don't think he's going to be forcing 20 this time. I think this is just to know where the fort is, and we're seeing Loki do the same thing here. I think they're just going to break the spawner and get out. Maybe check this chest in case there's looting. Oh, Bane won. I mean, Diamond Sword, I guess, is better to kill the blazes. And not sure how much gold Danny's grabbing here. If he needs it to trade for anything, I, I really don't know. Mm. But he's committing to mining a lot of this gold here. Hey, Loki, too. Yeah. I mean, both of them just doing this this time, which is interesting because... Oh, course, Danny has 10 obby. Time. Okay, Danny has 10 obby again. So no obsidian. Interesting situation once again. That we just have almost no food. And both these runners pyrang now. Gets the direction. It's farther away from the home portal in the direction that the treasure was, so these runners should have a very clean Ooh. idea, and Danny unfortunately smacks a piglin. That's not good. Not yeah, good, not like only... Like said, loses the food. Yeah, yeah, not only do you lose the piglin that's trading, but you lose the food. He's at 21 obby. He should be able to leave here, but he's on four hearts, no more bread. Only on rotten flesh right now. Mm. But look at Loki. That gives, the ability, that gives Loki the ability to throw, you know, that extra pearl. Um, yep, Loki's just more time and, and Loki's on the just ahead of Yep, Danny throws a pearl in the lava with somehow Loki in the fort so far ahead. Danny doesn't even see it on a screen at this point. I'm not sure if it's to the right or the left, but he should be able to know where this fort is based on how regions work and how Pyre works, but Danny pretty behind on this seed so far. Sees the fort finally, but almost overshot it with his couple pearls. So he's got time, but Loki already blaze bedded out of spawner. There's only so much Minecraft left to play in this seed, and it's not looking amazing for Danny enjoyers. Yep. See if any rods, four rods, five, five rods. rods, six. Wow, six. Wow. So Loki's just out before Danny finds the spawner. Yep, literally uh, an entire split ahead Ooh. almost. And Danny will get his rods fast, but I don't know if he has time to catch up, Nerdy. Yeah, it's going to be close if Danny... Well, actually, not really. <laughs> I guess that's the whole point. Uh, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see if Danny can do something to, to make up some time here. I will say the Diamond Sword is is worth something. Like, that will save a little yeah. bit of time, but, you know, not, not like a substantial amount here. I mean, and Loki is just booking it. Literally bookcrafting it. That was good, Nerdy. He is literally oh. booking it. True. I, I <laughs> actually did not mean that. I know you didn't, but that's okay. Good but 400 blocks, not going to be really any room for Loki or Danny to make up like some terrain decisions as you're kind of just right here, like one pearl straight down just to fall faster. And looks like Loki is like eight blocks away from the cords here. And Danny just still needs his rod, still needs a measure, still needs to go. And um, I think Danny did get a sixth rod, I believe. I don't know. I mean, it was just what nabbing to the fort was the was the time loss. I think. Yeah, and also just taking that damage to the piglet. I feel like, and 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 before, I feel like he just uh, or he does not have a sixth rod. Never mind. Um, but uh, yeah, just taking a lot of damage, wasn't able to pearl as effectively, and like you said, the nav. Um, 
I mean, to wait for the heals and such. I think Danny yep. needs just one more rod, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, He's doing a good job of catching up, and Loki doesn't instantly know here where the portal room is. Hey, here's Danny's chance. Yes, it is possible. I mean, Loki got a good spike, so I'm confused as to why it's not here. But it's not. Danny could find it. Danny could get a better spike. He's heading to cords right now. Not a great... Um, definitely overshot both of these coordinates. or um, Overshot one of them, at least. So, going to be getting down into the stronghold very soon, but... If this preemptive is weird, it might be weird for Danny as well. Maybe Loki just missed a spike or missed a direction. Yeah, library there, so it is. It cannot be left here. Oh, unless it's down this staircase, I guess. Danny's in. See if Danny can maybe find it a little quicker here. I mean, he gets no theoretically, spike. Danny could find it first. <laughs> that is true. So it's no spike. Coming down this direction, still gets no amazing spike. Wow! Oh Danny finds it same time that Loki does. Here we go. But Loki's barely ahead by three seconds. Danny needs oh to go he higher up, like, and have some bad extensions. And look, Danny's hopper isn't. Oh no, he's in the end. I. Oh my god, it's just so hard. I give the edge on zero to low key here. He's at 95. Danny's committed to 95 as well. Low key, double bed, first bed as well. Oh my wow. god, almost a four bed zero. Like, you just can't make up that time if you're Danny. It's not possible. That is just incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, three cycle, zero cycle, like three rotation. And Danny, Danny hits the zero, but. Loki makes up so much time. Okay, okay well, the, <laughs> I mean, I think Loki got free the end, maybe off of the uh, off the bow, maybe not, but wouldn't have mattered either way. But uh, wow, three rotation wow. zero yeah, cycle from Loki, almost well almost a four bed. That was some very he good was stuff. He was close, and he went for the risks, and it did like it totally. Uh, yeah, he, he killed it. He killed it. He absolutely killed it. Four seconds. Of difference entering the end, Loki lost over a minute in the stronghold. But nerdy, he gave himself enough time so that he could lose that minute, and it was right. okay. Look at the thirty seconds on the fortress nav, and then even with the fortress nav, Loki finding the spawner faster, able to blind and then get to the stronghold quicker as well. Thirty seconds on kind of both of those splits there, giving him a minute of an advantage heading into the stronghold, and it's enough to compensate for the navigational issue still able to give loki the win on a seed two some slow seeds though nerdy neither of them been sub 10 true but not now, what we're used to my prediction to come true danny needs to go back to back to back i believe in danny but it's going to be a tough one it is possible he's got a lot to climb back though but it is streaky, you know, like if he wins one, you get the momentum back a little bit. You win two, you get it back by a bit. Like, it's possible for him to make it back, but there's a long road ahead of him. And yep. we are going to have Fulham analyze what Danny potentially needs to do to bring it back. But we've been told to stall for phone for a bit. He's gathering some clips for us right okay. now. But we've gotten the word nerdy. Fulham is ready. We are ready to watch our mid-match analysis. We will see you guys back here in just a bit. Back here in just a bit. All right, guys. Mid-match analysis time. It is two games in to Loki versus Danny Boy, and we are 2-0 to Loki. Of course, one of the highest seeded, well, the highest seeded player during the uh, season four, 
and uh, showing exactly why that is while he's playing against Danny here. Let's just talk about this very first overworld. A little bit of an interesting see. We've got jungle, acacia, desert village. And we noticed that Danny did have a stronger overworld um, entering the nether first in this first seed. I thought that was really impressive and something that I guess many people wouldn't have expected going into this. However, um, after this, even after entering the Bastion super fast, with there basically being no split between nether, uh, nether entry and Bastion entry... Um, Danny made a slightly difficult decision to force the 20 instead of Loki, who has decided to go for the home portal. And as Loki pearls away, as you can see when he F5s, I've lost my mouse cursor, let me go back. Um, as he F5s just here, you can see on the corner of his screen, he does spot the fortress leg. He understands that it must be in this general direction due to where the Bastion has spawned. Um, so he doesn't need to go down and break the spawner at the bottom of the treasure bastion. Now, um, there's a spawner at the bottom of this type of bastion, which prevents you from using the pie chart in this corner. Uh, that is a pretty big issue that we, it, that, uh, we face when we play in a treasure bastion. So the fact that he was able to spot exactly where this fortress would be without needing to go down and break the spawner is a fantastic time save. On the other hand, we notice that Danny had to instead go down and break uh, break the spawner. Also gathered a lot of gold, so went for 20 obsidian. Decides to stay for 20 obby, um, and then finds where that fortress is. He also knows it must be in this general direction, and spots it as well. Pearls over towards the side here, and notice he lands, clutches, but jumps backwards while doing so, so falls further. Wow, that bitrate is absolutely horrible. Let me try and run that clip back a tiny bit. Jumps backwards and falls. This is going to be a death here, except he does decide to pearl into the side of the um, into the side of the tower and clutch one more time, which was fantastic. Very heads up play, uh, which was you know very good. However, he was already around about a minute and a half behind at this point due to the um, extent of the waiting for twenty obsidian. Unfortunately, that did lead him around about a minute and a half behind, and Loki was able to take seed number one. But in seed number two, uh, Danny kept it a lot closer, and during the nav for Loki, he wasn't really able to find where this portal room was, and he was a very, uh, pretty much a split ahead between blind and um, locating where the stronghold is. But because of how long this nav truly took, it allowed, um, it allowed Danny to be able to clutch back and do a little bit of work to be able to make this a lot closer than it otherwise would have had to be. Uses that apple to make a golden apple, but spends a lot of time looking for the portal room, which wasn't particularly helpful. And as we see in that seed number two, uh, after a lot of dancing around, not being able to find it, Danny comes into the stronghold, and was able to find it a lot wow. faster. And they do pretty much enter the portal room at the same time. However, Loki is pretty much entirely prepped. Danny needs to craft a couple more eyes, and also organize inventory and such. And that allows Loki to enter the end just a few seconds prior. And not only that, but Loki decides to go for an absolutely impeccable zero cycle getting a really, really clean uh, set of rotations. Heads all the way up and is able to get, I believe, yeah, the first bed. He was able to double bed to get the dragon down pretty much half HP. Back to back. Back to back bows. And even though it doesn't deal as much knockback, he was able to place the bed underneath the zero cycle setup and have everything entirely prepped. And a really, really clean zero falls straight off and pearls to the floor as he knows that the dragon may hit him, which could cause him to die. Really, really heads up. And Loki is able to take seed number two. If you're a Danny fan, this has been probably a pretty tough watch because Danny has been behind in both of these seeds. He can come back. That's the benefit of these best of fives. He's allowed to make a couple of mistakes and he will maybe be able to make this comeback. But he's really going to need to make sure that he doesn't lose all the time in the Bastions as he has done for the last two. Now... The treasure in the first seed was what really messed him up. 
And I've got a big hope as to the fact that this won't be a treasure in the upcoming three seeds. So that we see a little bit more of a close fight between Loki and Danny. Um, now, Danny was able to clutch back a lot of the time save that he may have lost in these Bastions. So I do think if the Bastion's quite linear, something like a bridge, something like maybe a double, triple stables, uh, those sort of things would allow Danny to um, potentially lose less time there and come back a little bit more, being able to potentially take the advantage in the next few seeds. He's obviously had a break now. Maybe that resets the mental. But of course, Loki being our seed number one, being currently first place in season five, is the strong favorite. And being two seeds up, of course, that is going to be further favorite. If this match goes to a seed five, I will see you once again. If not, I will see you in the next match. I'm going to pass you guys back to Feinberg and Nerdy, and I will speak to you very shortly. W We're back. Analysis, we are back. Um, it's possible, Nerdy. It's possible that Danny brings it back, but Loki's been playing exceptionally well. He's got a plus one under his belt. There should be minimal nerves coming out from Loki, and the pressure is as high as it could possibly be for Danny. Yep. So. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but hey, listen, I have to st stand by my words, and all I got to say is uh, if Danny wins, it'll my prediction will be true. Like, you know what I mean? Like, logically, it's not That is true. Any, it is. You, you if Danny like, does win, it will oh. be a 3-2 win. Uh, but I... It's going to be hard for him to get three seasons in a row. And, and, and how Loki's been playing, I don't know if it's possible. But literally, the cool thing is we do get to see it. We do get to see if Danny can start running it back. And Priffin uh, made a run for it, you know? <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. one seed, it, it is possible. But... We can throw it over to the seed selection. I think we're playing BT for this seed. I think it's the one overall type that we haven't picked so far. So, sure. I don't know. I mean, Danny's been holding it together in these overworlds and in the start of the nethers, but he hasn't, um, hasn't you know, really made the most perfect decisions in the nether, and Loki just has been. That's basically what it's been like is... Loki's just been playing nearly perfect, and Danny's going to match that, and I think if he matches that, he can take a seed, take two seeds, potentially take three, but he's got to match that play. Loki is just playing near perfect, and the, and the zeros have been crazy, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, a yeah. BT seed is an exciting one, and I, you know, I, I believe in Danny, though, I will say. I believe. I believe. And I will say, I think also there is something to the notion of, you know, this is, this is the low, right? He's lost two in a row. Everything's on the line. But if he focuses up and wins, maybe, like we said before with previous matches, maybe that momentum can start to carry to the next seed. And then, you know, then, you're, then you win that one, and you... You're up, you, you've won the past two, and then now you might be in an advantageous mental position. So, you know, that's the cope. That's the cope, okay? Is Danny needs to start winning. That, it's very straightforward. That is true. Like, to win the match, you do need to start winning. Yeah. But we have our first BC, BTC of the day, both runners in the same chunk. Similar gear, similar stuff. Potentially a gold pressure plate or an iron one. Really depends. I think the gold pressure plate's correct. You uh, get an iron axe, uh, and the lava pool is very, very visible. So some good stuff. Where are you going to put your TNT? What trees are you going to blow up? And then it's just crafting speed, getting your flint. You know, just very, very mechanical. Yep. Um, situation. Very mechanical world here for these runners and looks like Loki is slightly ahead heading to the lava pool but it's not by much nerdy Danny keeping it together here maybe 5 to 10 seconds of difference in these overworlds but that could matter It all comes down to the nether. Very fast, though, Nerdy. 120 BT enter. I mean, this lava wow. pool off spawn is great. You know, no magma necessary. 
no RNG in finding that there. Here we are. We're looking around here. Fort is visible on the way to this bastion on Loki's screen right now, on Danny's screen as well. So Danny's going to have to clutch some terrain to maybe make some time up. Loki could increase his lead a little more if Danny can't. And I feel like Loki a, just looks was, on fire today. I don't know what to say. His movement just looks good. Like his I don't, I don't know if we've seen a mistake from Loki. Yeah. Which is just, I feel like, so impossible to beat if you're Danny. Like, nothing that I've seen has been <laughs> really impactful more than maybe, like, five seconds of a mistake here yeah. or there. Like, nothing major, you know? Uh, I mean, credit to Danny as well. Nothing major, really. Like, it, other than yeah. I feel like the lower treasure play, it's just the the seed two was a lot of small things that, that added up. It's not like he was. Yeah. It's not like he was like doing horrible or anything. Like, I think no. Loki's it's just, just it's the really, the, really the problem good. is you just you make one mistake and it's unfortunately yeah. a little bit too much sometimes, depending on the mistake. Fulham does point out the last nav, this nav in the last scene. No, that's fair. That is fair. That is true. But I just, I do overall feel like Loki's been playing very well still. Yeah. That, that is a good point, though. Danny's skipping the top blocks. I think a pig in the way. So he's going to trade first by a bit here, but he's got to go back and get those backups. I think he just didn't want to do with the piglin that was sort of wandered into the way of where you grab those gold blocks. I'm not sure. But it makes this housing route a little awkward for Danny potentially, but it might not end up mattering. We'll see how he handles it here. But low key, pretty standard housing situation. Ooh, these piglins are not mad. Danny drops his pickaxe on accident. Didn't pick up the pickaxe. Uh, you're going to need that, Danny, for the extra gold blocks. Didn't pick it up. Can craft another one, okay, but just some weird little time loss here. And, I mean, he didn't get these backups, Nerdy. It's just going to – Loki's got 20. He's already able to leave. Danny yeah. – skipped like routing the middle of this bastion i think it was just the piglin in the way but it's such a hard punish here he doesn't have 20 he's low on pearls loki's already heading to the fort then he needs to pearl hang trade out the rest of this gold here but i think there's a good chance that he whiffs i also think there's a good chance that 18 obby won't be able to make up the uh, the time for like it doesn't even even if he does get it yeah even if he I gets the like obby i don't know be yeah. it. he might be too far behind it's the three, um, those three gold blocks that he whiffed. I, it might just be, it might be too, too much of a mistake. Has to force this manhunt chest, struggling to get up here as well. And if there's no obby here, which there probably won't be, just statistically, there is though. So he clutches it. But look at this nerdy, eighteen pearls only for Danny. He's gonna throw one here, seventeen. If you need three, maybe even four for the zero, and it's a zero eye. Like you can't throw that many more pearls. And Loki's already got a spawner blaze bedded. I just, I don't know if Danny makes it the time. If Loki's been playing the way he does, Danny's got to hope that there's another navigational issue because that's where we've seen Loki lose the most time in this entire, um, entire series so far. Let's see here. Two rods so far. He's also killed a few extra blazes. Um, yeah, Danny playing some strays here. Yeah. Um, having to deal with some wither skeletons. So it looks like just is it just one stray? Oh no. Yeah. I mean, could grab some more on the way. You know, he's got a couple over here, but it's way oh yeah, yeah three strays right there. So Danny's making it nice. work here. Could be saving some time in this fort, but a blaze bedded nice. spawner nerdy is very powerful. Unclear if Danny's going to make up enough time. Two more blazes here, possible, though. But oh! oh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Oh, and he's alive. He's alive. He it's so scary. Yeah, he should be okay. Yeah. Blaze meleeed. Yes, he got blaze meleeed nerdy off of the um, gravel tower. But yes, he has two rods. Loki has at least four. 
Better food situation. I don't know if Danny's fully out, but he might be. Danny's fully out of food. Three hearts. No more healing. Loki has food still and is full. It's Loki's game to lose again. Like just a, a small mistake, Danny. Just taking, a, approaching the Bastion route a little bit incorrectly. Not grabbing the three gold blocks in the middle, getting less piglins aggroed, and getting less gold blocks for the trades. And it's just cascading into bigger and bigger issues. Loki's heading the cords. Like, how do you catch this guy? I mean, he's just playing so consistent. I don't so know quick. if he messed like anything up. Now, he can, again, he... to be fair, last seed where he messed up was right, right where we're about it, right where we are about to be. If I can say that sentence. Yes. <laughs> In the he did mess up the nav. Yes, you are correct. It was the nav. So, hopefully, he doesn't make that mistake. If you're a Loki enjoyer, if you're a Danny enjoyer, you are hoping that. Loki forgets what a, what a portal room looks like. The pie chart breaks. Game that would, crashes. Yeah, that would be optimal. Yeah. <laughs> this, these would be good for, for Danny enjoyers. But it's sub 10 pace. Danny hangs a pearl over to second portal cords, but Loki is so far ahead. Gets that spike. Not that direction. I like the idea, but it's boxed off. Has to be mid, and he right finds right it. There. Not slow at all. See if it's zeroable. I mean, he's ready to go. If it is, it's cage. Not really. It is zeroable. Whiffs that pearl, though. I'm shocked. I mean, I think he gets to 95, maybe. I'm just shocked he commits to this. Wow. Went for the double bed. Didn't really work out. Does he have enough explosives now, though? Yeah, two beds, two anchors. He's good. Wow, what a double bed. Wow. It looked very shaky with that missed pearl, but that's just an incredible recovery entirely. Was able to still and get to 95. looks like. And unfortunately, Danny not able to TNT launch himself into the credits. Not able to catch up. And it's a 3 0 from Loki. I mean, genuinely, I think the only mistake like, that had any significance in the entire three seeds was the nav on yeah. seed two. No, I agree. Like, I, 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 nothing well. else there, I think, at all mattered. Like, Danny gave it his all. Danny gave it his all. He gave it a good shot. Um, you know, made some mistakes here and there, but Loki just played exceptionally well throughout. Um, like, yeah, just no major mistakes except for a bit of the nav. Um, and just overall just exceptionally well played. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what, you, what you're supposed to do there if you're Danny. Uh, Loki just played nearly perfectly, and I mean... Danny just has to somehow be able to smooth out all the small mistakes. And then it, even then, does he win? Like, I don't know. Loki is just so fast, faster average time. Like, I, I don't know. Just crazy stuff from Loki. Quick 3-0. What you would expect from a former playoffs winner. For sure. And there's our brackets.